Hello and welcome to Wheat and Barley. This is a place where you get the ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine. Congratulations on completing day four of 21 of your submission fast. God is so good. Praise him. Hallelujah. He is so good to each and every one of us, giving us the grace to be able to run this race. Hallelujah. Right now, praise God. We're going to just jump right into Zacchaeus. Hallelujah. Chapter 19 of Luke. And what the Lord showed me in meditation, praise God, because he wanted me to come back to verse 7. And verse 7 reads, when they saw it, they all began to grumble, saying, he has gone to be the guest of a man who is a sinner, praise God. Hallelujah. And so what the Lord was sharing with me, see, some people, praise God, no matter how much you do for them, no matter, praise God, your position, your elevation, they will still grumble and remember you as that, right? As the past. Hallelujah. Understand, as what you used to do, praise God. Because understand, Zacchaeus is in transition. He is about to be converted, praise God. Hallelujah. Now he is in the presence of the Lord. This is just like when we receive Jesus for the first time. If you haven't received Jesus, praise God, he's the team you want to be on. Hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, go ahead and call upon the Lord's name, praise God. Let him know, hallelujah, that you're ready to come on into the fold, praise God. Allow the Holy Spirit to do a work in you in the mighty name of Jesus. Make Jesus your Lord and Savior and watch your life change, praise God. But right here, Zacchaeus' life was getting ready to change. He was in the process of being converted, praise God. And I want you to understand this, that in this process of him being converted, this was his walk towards being converted, praise God. And right here... Even when he is in the presence of the Lord, the Lord calls him by name and gives him instructions, praise God, that he's coming to his house, hallelujah, that even them who hear this, they did not rejoice. They did not rejoice. They grumbled, y'all. So when people are grumbling about you and your success, when people are grumbling about you being called and elevated, when people are grumbling, praise God, hallelujah, about what God is doing in your life, call it normal. Praise God. Why? Because they're of the world. Hallelujah. Because if they were of Jesus Christ, they would understand the light that is in Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. The workings in him. Praise God. And what he was there to do with Zacchaeus. Because Jesus, hallelujah, he goes to the lost. He goes to the sick. Praise God. He knows who needs to be saved. I'm telling you, God draws them, praise God. Jesus calls them, praise God. The Holy Spirit does the work in them, in the mighty name of Jesus. Understand that, praise God. So don't even feel any kind of way about the grumblings of those around you. Just listen. When you hear the grumblings, they're talking about you, praise God, hallelujah. They're growling. They're doing all of these com this complaining, praise God, about you. That means you are elevating. That means you're in the right place, hallelujah, at the right time, in the right spot for the encounter with Jesus Christ. That means what Jesus Christ has called you for, hallelujah. It is purposeful. It is intentional, hallelujah. You're, in, you're right on time for the job. You have been chosen specifically. If you're hearing these grumblings, praise God, hallelujah, they wish it was them. They wish that the position that you are in right now, praise God, where God is elevating you or doing the work in you, they wish it was them. They wish that he had called them. They wish, praise God, that he had come to their house. Hallelujah. That's all it is, y'all. Praise God. They just want to be in your shoes. Hallelujah. But I'm telling you right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, whether you wear a size 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, onward, praise God. Hallelujah. Whatever size shoe you wear, whatever color shoes you have on, praise God. Hallelujah. If you have them on or if they're in your closet, just go with me with this praise God hallelujah those are your shoes let me tell you something those are your shoes a child could come and they could try to put their feet in your shoes praise God but they won't fit hallelujah because you're the one who's been doing the work you're the one who's been growing hallelujah you're the one who's been praising you're the one who's been spending time with the Lord you're the one who's seeking him hallelujah guess what Zacchaeus was the one hallelujah who was in the crowd who didn't have a great statue. He had a small statue. He was the one who said, hi, I need to see this man, praise God. And he ran ahead. He was the one who climbed the tree, praise God. Do you understand? Hallelujah. And Jesus looked up and said, the has come down immediately, praise God. Understand this. Some people will have the grumblings, but they didn't do anything. Hallelujah. To receive what God so graciously gives. They didn't do anything, praise God. Hallelujah. We know that we can't do anything to earn anything from Jesus Christ. You understand that? Hallelujah. But there was this intensity about Zacchaeus where he, hallelujah, switched positions. He ran ahead. He climbed that tree, praise God. And he was in the right place 
for the encounter. Hallelujah. And for some of you, that's all you have to do. Just be in the right place, praise God. And understand those grumblings that come along with that, praise God. Hallelujah. Go ahead and give God some praise. Go ahead and bless him. Hallelujah. Go ahead and thank him. Hallelujah. Thank him for the grumbling, praise God. Because you are in the right place at the right time with the right one who's going to bring it out for you, praise God. He's going to pour it out for you. He's going to uh, uh, have your path laid right out for you, praise God. He make a way out of no way for who? You. Hallelujah. So go ahead and praise him and honor him and glorify him praise God when you hear those grumblings in the mighty name of Jesus because they are not going to uh, uh, attack you praise God hallelujah it's just talk it's just talk hallelujah hallelujah in the mighty name of Jesus so go ahead and move in the things of God and the grace that he's given you with confidence in the Lord because he has chosen you for this time praise God Hallelujah. I pray that you believe it and receive it in Jesus' mighty name. That uh, message right there, bless me to know, praise God. Even in the grumbling, bless the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Even in the grumbling, bless the Lord. They talking about you, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, what did they say? Bless the Lord, praise God. Hallelujah. Don't get caught up in that, praise God. Just continue to bless the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus because you're doing exactly what you're supposed to do. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All right. We're going to go ahead and get it ready for communion. I have my cracker here. And my grape juice. Praise God. Hallelujah. We're going to 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 11, starting at verse 23. Thank you, Lord God, for this day. Thank you, Lord God, for us completing day four. In the mighty name of Jesus, we're excited, excited, excited. We thank you for keeping us in eating clean and drinking water. Praise God. We thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. That we're able to put down some of those things that we have held dearly to our hearts, Lord God. Things that we thought we could never put down, Lord God. We've been putting them down. Hallelujah. We have not even touched them or put them in our mouth to, to uh, uh, just sit and, 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 and treat it like delicacies, oh Lord God. We're not doing it. We are choosing to eat clean. We're choosing to eat better, eat healthier, Lord God. Hallelujah. And we're grateful for it. And we're grateful for this design of a plan that you have given us to submit to you. Thank you, Lord God, for giving us the example of Zacchaeus submitting to you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And even in his submission and even in his obedience, Lord God, I'm praying that each and every one of us will be submitted, submissive, Lord God. Hallelujah. And obedient, just the same in Jesus' mighty name. Praise God. Hallelujah. We love you. We honor you and we glorify you, Jesus. Have your way with us today. Have your way with us today, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Speak to us, instruct us, direct us, keep us, hold us, protect us, oh, Father God. Hallelujah. Protect our families. Keep our families. Keep our children, Lord God. Hallelujah. Keep our relationships, oh, Lord God. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, oh, Lord God. Continue to direct our path, Lord God, so we know exactly where we need to go and what we need to do. And may anything that will detour us from our path, oh, Lord God, stay away from us in the mighty name of Jesus. Keep it away from us in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead and do communion. Praise God. It's been a long day. Hallelujah. The Lord suffered. Verse 23 of chapter 11 of 1 Corinthians. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you that the Lord Jesus in the night in which he, had, he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Therefore, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord is an in an unworthy manner, shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks, eats and drinks judgment to himself, if he does not judge the body rightly. For this reason, many among you are weak and sick in a number. Thank you, Lord God, for uh, the, the 
communion, oh Lord God. Thank you, Father God, for your goodness, grace, and mercy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We remember you in this time, oh Lord. We remember you every day. We remember, hallelujah, that we can receive salvation through you, that your blood washes us clean. Hallelujah. Your purity, hallelujah, reigns. You are righteous and sovereign, oh Lord. Hallelujah. That all authority and power is in your hand that you sit at the right hand of the Father. Jesus, we remember you. Jesus, we remember your teachings and your demonstrations. We remember you. We remember your body. We remember the resurrection of you, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. We remember, hallelujah, the sacrifice that you made. And we thank you for it. For without you, we are nothing. And in you, we are everything. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, for giving us life and life more abundantly. We believe it and receive all the promises that are within you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. I pray that you are blessed by this communion. Just know that the fast will continue 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. tomorrow, day five, praise God. 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., praise God. And remember, you can eat healthy foods during this time. Drink water, hallelujah. And if you do eat meat, it needs to be very little meat, praise God. No bottom feeders, shrimp, lobster, crab, uh, pork, none of that, praise God. Hallelujah. It's clean eating time, y'all. The body is healing itself, but the Lord also said that he's healing in this time. Receive your healing from the Lord and be blessed in all your ways and know that I love you and Christ loves you, praise God. Hallelujah. And the love of Christ, I'm telling you right now, nothing can outdo, outweigh, hallelujah, outperform his love in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the love of Christ today in Jesus' mighty name. All right, y'all. Peace and blessings until next time. I love you with the love of Christ. May each and one of each and every one of you be blessed and highly favored in the land. All right, y'all.